Hey guys, how are you? So today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up alerts in Trader Workstation and how to get them to send alerts to your email and to your phone. All right. And by default, this is not set up. So you need to make sure you set this up yourself. So first of all, we want to go once you're logged into Trader Workstation and everything, you want to go to account, then account management home, which is going to bring you to the web browser platform. Now in the web browser platform, top left here, bring down the drop down, go to settings and then user settings. All right. And that's going to bring you to this menu here where you're able to configure your login password stuff, your security, your communication, your trading platform stuff. All right. So where it says communication there, this is where you need to program the info that you want to be alerted with. So here where it says alert notification, you need to make sure you put in the email address there. So if you click there, generally you want to put in your uh, address SMS address that re relates to texting. So if you have, if you want to be, texted, you need to configure your SMS address. If you click on this gear here, it gives you a brief guideline on how to figure out your SMS address to get those alerts to your text messages. All right. Once you've set all this up, that's the first step. The next step is how to actually set alerts in the platform itself. So it's pretty easy. There's a number of ways to do it. You go into your platform. If you're using a chart, you're going to want to have the alert button here on the toolbar, or you can also right click on the chart at any moment and it will bring up this menu and this on the right here, this little bell is going to be to create a new alert. So if I click on that, so let's redo that, right click on the chart, click on the bell. And now I have a blue line showing up here that's going to set an alert at any price I want on this chart. Okay. So if I want to set an alert here, for example, it's going to by default create a price alert for the price that I have selected on the chart. And you can also move that around if you need to. Okay. You can select to alert outside of real time hours and you can also choose if you want the price, if you want the alert to trigger when the price is below that amount or above that amount or equal. So this one would be, this one is set to greater than or equal the price I showed. If you select below or equal, that alert would trigger right away. Essentially, if the price is trading below the alert you selected, does that make sense? So that's the basic way to set an alert. Again, right click on the chart, then click alert. Another way is to do it is through the toolbar. So here's the toolbar in your chart. You can also get rid of that toolbar completely by clicking that X. But see, if I go to here, configure toolbar, now I can choose anything I want to show up in the toolbar. I've selected the alert bell icon to show up in my toolbar. So it shows up right here. I can click on that alert button. Now I have access to create an alert on the chart again. So if I wanted to create an alert here again, it will bring up the same menu. All right. The next thing you need to be aware of is certain settings in the menu. So we're going to want to go to global configuration, then to information tools, then to alerts. Now in alerts here, click on settings. These are the components. We want to see all of this pretty much checked depending on your needs. Of course, now be aware that this right here, send message via email or SMS. This is not going to be checked by default. So you need to check that if you want to receive the alert via message, email or SMS. Okay. So you want to check that. And then obviously there's other settings regarding the sounds, delete timeouts, and if the alert is going to be repeatable or not. So if you click on repeatable, obviously every time the alert gets triggered, it's going to keep on triggering. It's never going to delete your alert. So I choose to turn that off. So yeah, make sure you check the send message via email or SMS. Okay. That's going to turn it on permanently, but by default, it's not turned on. Okay. So you want to click apply and okay. So again, let's, let's create an alert here. Now let's go to advanced settings and in the advanced settings, you can see here, we can create multiple conditions for these types of alerts. A simple alert would just be a price alert, but just know that interactive brokers allows you to create an alert for all of these different parameters, including margin cushion, volume, percentage change, rebate rate and percentage time, P and L trade and shortable shares. All right. So just know that these are all the possible conditions. All right. Now in this menu here, you'll see your alert. Okay. You have orders, messages, audio in messages, make sure this send message via email or SMS is checked. And again, like I told you, you need to check it in the general menu in order for this to be default checked. So by default, it's not checked. I keep repeating that because that's literally the most important thing. So that's pretty much it. Once you click on activate, now the alert is active. Close this menu. I have an active alert here. If you want to see all of your active alerts, you go to new window 
and in general tools there is a menu you can choose called alerts you click that it's going to bring this up it will show all of your active alerts currently active right now got it all right guys so that's pretty much all there is in regards to alerts just know that you can set alerts on almost any window like quote windows watch lists charts anything that has your ticker row displayed for example here i have i can right click and then set an alert again create new alert it even it will even show you your active alert see there it shows i create an alert on that one create new alert it gives the same menu here for creating an alert price greater than or equal lower than or equal all right guys so i hope this cleared up some things regarding your alerts of course you can change the customize the color of that alert on your chart and everything that's not so important. And again, I have not been able to find a way to configure a hotkey to set up alerts. For some reason, it's not working. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now. So generally, the easiest way for me is just putting it on the toolbar right here on a chart. Again, I don't use Trader Workstation for charts, but I just have one chart here for that. So I'll click on the alert, put it in, and that'll be it pretty much. That's the end of the story. All right, guys, so if this video helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and a like button. Consider supporting the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.